Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 episode of Fashion Friday. If you're wondering, this is a series where you guys submit awesome outfits and I share them with everyone else. So hopefully you guys enjoy these outfits in today's episode. If you have your own you want to submit, then all you have to do is go on Twitter and tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. But starting us off with the first one, these are in no particular order. These might be out of order too, like there might be a, a female outfit after a male outfit, so... Sorry about that, but whatever. The first one from Bullet 3D is called the Gopnik. I have no idea what that means. Is that Russian? I have no idea. But this looks like a Russian outfit, and I actually kind of like it. It's kind of funny, especially because the in the game that I play a lot, PUBG Player Unknown Battlegrounds, there was a similar looking outfit that was just recently added to the game. So I thought that was kind of cool. But either way, if you want a uh, you know a fun, interesting, different looking outfit, then I think that's a pretty solid one. The next one we have is this really tactical one that I guess could be used for both male and female. The outfit or the pictures you'll see are for the male or for the female character, but I'm pretty sure all the stuff you can get for the male character as well. It's called the Recon Overwatch and it's from FMP Shrimp and you can see what you need to make it there on the left. It's you know not too complicated in terms of military outfits, but it just overall looks amazing. And yeah, I know there's been a ton of military outfits over the last, you know, what, month or two, but that's that's all the or that's using the clothes that came with the gun running DLC. That was a bunch of military stuff with that. So it's to be expected. But yeah, this one looks really cool. I love the sort of pictures you took there. But yeah, that's the second one. The third one's kind of an interesting and different one using one of the new masks, as you can see. This one's called the Noisy Splinter from Harry. You can see that you need to make it there on the left. It's, you know, relatively simple. Again, kind of a, a not really bright or you know outfit that stands out very much it's just you know got black on black on the bottom and then you got the, like the black on dark green almost brown for the jacket and it somewhat goes with the mask there then we have this one from the shadow called the urban blue and i kind of like this one just to stand out if you are a fan of outfits like that you can see what you need to make it there a bunch of cyan or blue pieces of clothing and i think it actually you know turns out pretty good it, it's definitely a good combo it somewhat blends together pretty nicely with the the cyan the lighter blue and the darker blue for like the bottom and stuff this would probably look good if one of your cars in the game somewhat matches that the next one though from Michael Peak is called the Purple Assassin. And unfortunately, you are gonna have to glitch the purple camo pants on, but I really, really like this. I mean, when it comes to camo outfits, normally you don't really get much color in them, but this one just looks so cool. I like the dark purple on the bottom and the lighter purple up top, and then going back to the darker purple on your like for the face mask, and then all the other stuff, it just adds to the outfit. Here we have two female outfits from Lil Miss Psycho. This first one is called Red X Fire RNG. And this one I honestly think looks really awesome. I mean, I love the color combo, the black, the red, and the white, and especially matching it with the car in the background there. But I love like the beanie mixed with the rebreather. And then you have the red tank top and then the black pants with the white shoes. It just looks really nice overall. And I, I like it. The next one from her is this one called Pink EX Candy RNG outfit. So this one's a black and pink. Not my favorite colors but it does look cool if you are into those colors it definitely is a nice looking outfit and you can see it also does match her car there in the background here we have one from steven the gamer guy called hired muscle and if you like role playing in the bodyguard you know sort of position in the game then i think this is a really fun outfit that you can choose it's not overly militaristic and i love how he paired it with that the car like the what is it the mesa it kind of reminds me of like a mercenary style outfit and I really like that because it's a little bit different. Moving on, we have some outfits from Aston Metcalf and this first one is called The Murderer. Kind of a different, you know, scary style of outfit. Not my favorite personally, but it's a little bit different if you're into that sort of thing. This one's really cool called The Spectre. I like the black and the green there on that one. And then this one's probably my favorite out of all of them called the Camo Juggernaut. So if you want a heavy style military looking outfit, then this one's kind of cool because it has the green, like the dark green color in it. So it does give you, you know, somewhat of a camo flies look. This next one is from Dead Water Studios, and this one is called Jungle Fever, sort of like the street edition, I guess. If you want a camouflage looking outfit, but that's not military related, this is definitely going to be one you may want to look into. All the green camo outfit parts, they all match, so that's always good. And then I like how you have the, the sort of casual, you know, pants and shoes on. So I think that's a pretty solid outfit. 
that you could use either in the city or up north in the jungle or in the jungle in the forest here's another really awesome funny one from tony this one is called the camo hillbilly <laughs> I just I love the picture that you have here like I just that sums up the redneck style of this game like that's just so funny and you know it's a joke outfit but it's it's just a funny joke outfit here we have one from agony called miss purple this one is going to require you to glitch those purple camo pants on but with the purple gloves that go all the way up to your elbows i think this one actually turned out pretty awesome so if you want to put the time and effort into getting that then you're going to end up with a really cool looking outfit especially i like how you put the white contacts in and the, and the black sort of face paint to go with everything I, I really like that little touch this next one from freed photography is called the woodland operator and this one's more of a casual style hunter outfit i guess you would call it you can see it's relatively simple to make you need the black cap the you're gonna need the black cap, the rebreather, all that. The uh, the dark woodland sleeveless shirt is what's gonna give you obviously the woodland feel, and then you have the black cargo pants with the black shoes there, the charcoal tactical boots. And all in all, you know, I think it turned out pretty awesome. As always, like I say, I like different outfits, you know, somewhat unique looking outfits. So I think that one definitely fits the description. And then to wrap it up, we have a bunch of awesome outfits from Cluttit and Art Style. These first few are from Art Style. The, this one is a female character outfit. You can see by looking at the pictures, it's somewhat easy to make, but it's it's just a nice looking female outfit. And then this one's the male outfit, I believe called Contrast. I like the second picture, him getting run over. But you can see it's, you know, it's fairly simple. It's sort of a, a formal casual style outfit. It's like a mix of the two. So, and I like it with the uh, the Tempesta there. That looks really cool. And then these last few are from Cluttit. As always, he makes some really cool outfits. This one is called Burger Shot Slackers. So if you and your crew want to uh, pretend you're burger shot workers, I mean, look, he sort of shows you what you need to wear there. I, I really like that. That's really creative. Here we have one called the LS Crip. So if you want to be more of a, a gangster character, then this might be one you want to look into. Get the blue and the white color scheme. And then here we have Bike Life DBT. Just a simple sort of casual biker style outfit. And then the last one is called Bougie. And this one's a little bit fancier of an outfit. So this one might be one you want to use, you know, if you're driving around a fancier car. So that's all the outfits. Thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you'd enjoy. Again, if you have your own outfit you want to submit, go on Twitter and tweet it with the hashtag SaintsFF. Thank you all. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.